Ricin is a toxic protein from the seeds of the castor oil plant, Ricinus communis, and is lethal to all organisms. To kill its target cells, ricin binds to the surface and is taken up into early endosomes, the Golgi and the ER. It is then transported to the cytoplasm, where it inhibits the ribosomes, the protein biosynthesis machinery of a cell, and leads to cell death. Although much is known about how ricin kills its target cells, the exact factors or protein that ricin binds to that mediate its uptake and shuttling within a cell remain undiscovered. To identify such factors and potentially inhibit ricin toxicity, we performed the genome-wide screen in cells exposed to the toxin. We found that ricin requires a specific sugar epitope named Lewis X or SSEA1 to be present on its target cells. Without this glycan, cells gain resistance to the toxin and ricin transport to the Golgi is specifically inhibited. However, at that point, we still didn't know about the underlying proteins that ricin requires for its toxicity. To find these specific factors that harbor Lewis X and potentially mediate the binding, uptake and shuttling of the toxin, we developed a novel method called SugarCube. This method allowed us, for the first time, to describe all glycans and their underlying glycopeptides of a cell at once. Using SugarCube, we identified several glycopeptides that harbor Lewis X, such as IGF-2R and LAMP1. These factors are present on the cell surface, the early uptake machinery and the Golgi. Deleting them makes cells indeed resistant to ricin. In summary, we identified a distinct glycan epitope, Lewis X, and its underlying glycoproteins that control ricin toxicity and offer potential new candidates for future therapeutic intervention.